2007 SRT8 Charger Super V Edition. Now this was the triumphant return for the Super V. Cars was trying to get back with their roots. This was the LX platform. This was one of the this was the, what is this, an old S-Class Mercedes or E-Class Mercedes is what this platform is actually based on. It was back when Chrysler was owned a pretty good portion of by Mercedes. Um, this is number 810 of 1000. They were all done in this detonator yellow in the year of 2007. 2008, there was another 1000 built, but they were all done in B5 blue. And then in 2009, there was 425 built and all done in Hemi Orange. I was kind of hunting for a Dodge Magnum at the time. Because I thought it'd be kind of fun to have a big, loud, shouty, you know, SRT8 <laughs> Magnum. Uh, they built, I think, what was it, 3,200 of those things. Couldn't find one, but I ended up finding one of these. They only made 2,400. Now... It's still kind of a, say in limited edition, it's more of a decal package and whatnot, the emblems. Uh, but the car's pretty clean. First took care of it as much as I took care of it. We'll talk a little bit more in another video about how, oops, about the history of this thing. We'll talk about some of the upgrades and whatnot. Did to it. And uh, she's been a pretty good piece. I mean, I've had it now for, what, five years. It's getting ready to go to a new home here for, what, probably tomorrow. So that's why I'm doing this video. Kind of a exit video. I don't know. Didn't get fired. It just... It's one of those things. Whoops. Man, it's almost impossible to get this thing to open with one hand. 6.1 liter, normally aspirated Hemi V8. Um, I think it made about four and a quarter horsepower. I think 425 too on the torque uh, when it was brand new. Uh, it's been breathed on a little bit, so it makes a little bit more now. We'll talk about some of that in another video. But uh, yeah, it's been a beast. Uh, it's been a great car. It's been to Florida a handful of times. She just has over 91,000 miles on it. I think I got it. I think it had 39,000 miles on it. So, and we'll talk a little bit maybe in the next video about how <laughs> how weird this car was as far as <laughs> that low of mileage in 2018. So, yeah, but it's a good piece. I'm going to miss this thing to death. Probably going to cry when this thing leaves. So, we'll see you very, very soon. Hopefully, we'll get to see this car again maybe someday.